How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. The other day on my community tab post, I posted a question. I said, hey, do you guys want to see like a vlog style type video? And I think it was like 60% said yes. So I'm going to do a vlog style video today about what I do on a daily basis. Well, <laughs> not on a daily basis. What I did today. And I'm going to just take you along for my daily activities. I got to change the brake bar on the steel chainsaw that I've got. I've got to unload Brutus off the trailer here, put it up. Uh, and a couple of things around the house so just tag along you know and if you like what you see in the videos t-shirts tools tractors implements whatever the case may be i'll put all the links in the description below let's go ahead and get started with my day So to give you some context of why I'm doing what I'm doing, yesterday we went over to a friend's house. I mean, it's not yesterday for you guys, but we went to a friend's house to help with some storm cleanup. So that's why my tractor's on my trailer. That video will be posted, I think it's actually posted before this one. Maybe it was yesterday's video. Because in October, I'm trying to do Monday through Friday videos just to see how it works on my channel. And I hope this video does well because I'm going to have a lot of information on there about things that are updates on the farm, updates on the channel, stuff like that. So I hope that people watch it and watch all of it because I'm going to explain a lot of things during the video. Got this in the mail yesterday. I ordered some new latex-free, I don't know, they're, I don't know, they're nitrile, so I don't know like i don't know 15 20 bucks off of amazon the brake handle for my chainsaw is here you know you can see where <laughs> a little breakage there but i'll replace it here let's see what i've got in the back of the truck got i took my diesel there yesterday and i've got my water and my cooler gotta get that put back up so just some cleanup stuff to disconnect the trailer so let's go ahead and get that started now oh and by the way it's starting to sprinkle so i need to hurry up and get this done Now that we've got Brutus off the trailer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the gooseneck. But this is what I'm going to do today. Now that I've got the tractor off the trailer, I'm going to get rid of that stupid middle ramp. And that thing is nothing but trouble for me. It's just aggravating. When I've got the backhoe on, I have to pull up so I can make room for this thing to lay back down here. Where if I didn't have that, I could just park where I needed to park and then put the left and right side ramps up and be good to go. I've never needed this. It only takes me more effort, time, and energy to get it on and off or up or down. So I'm going to actually take it off, set it off to the side, and just use these two ramps here from here on out. Let's take this tray and back it up over here to the pole barn and we'll disconnect it here i'm assuming that i got to take this bolt loose here i'm gonna try to do that without breaking it and i'll spray a bunch of liquid wrench in there obviously but that might be the only one then pull that post out enough to drop this one i'm gonna try it by myself i hope it ain't <laughs> hope i don't drop it on my toe or something all right let's get it backed up to the pole barn Those of you wondering about an update on the Oliver, parts are in the mail. I should get them here in a couple days. By the time you see this video, I might have the parts. Let's see. Let me go get a wrench and take care of that. Shouldn't be too hard here. Let me grab another 9 16 see what happens here. I've never done this before by the way. That's coming off easy enough. That's good. I thought that bolt might be rusted. <laughs> here, come, here comes the fun part. Trying to figure out how to do this. I guess you just slide it. I don't know. Maybe I should watch a YouTube video on it. I might have to turn the camera off before I try some stuff. There we go. We made, when I moved that middle one, it moved the rod out this way. Oh, good Lord. Okay. 
Okay, that's working. It seems like. But this one right here is about to drop, so this thing's gonna come crashing down, so I don't want my feet on it over here. Let's see, get y'all a good shot of this thing falling off here in a sec. See how much I've got out so far? Oh, disregard the falling off part. <laughs> Duh, the weight's up here, what a, I'm such a knucklehead. I mean, I should have known. That's good, it just stays in place. Now I can take the bar out here, take this one off, and be good to go. So disregard the falling off big calamity ramp fiasco, cause that's, that's good. I'm so, I'm such a knucklehead. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that off and where I'm gonna put it. Guess I'll just walk it over here. That's actually a little easier than what I thought it was gonna be. Now I'll slide this pole back in. I gotta line up this part here. Set you guys down just for a second. Get over on this side. There you go. I think that's in there. I gotta bring it out flush to here. Gotta work on it from this side, but I gotta make sure that hole is lined up on the top. Try to line this up here. My handy dandy screwdriver. Before I started this project, I was like, oh no, man, what? Am I gonna break my trailer? <laughs> but I'm glad it's turning out to be quite simple, actually. Let's beat this thing into submission. All right, looks like we got the holes aligned here. So now we'll just put that bad boy back in like so. Look at that. Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, I thought this was going to be a, a very uh, tough project. Now that we got that first task out of the way, I'll go ahead and get this gooseneck taken off the truck. And then we will start on my second task for today. So far, so good, right? <laughs> You guys drive out of your mirrors? I know I do. I wanna show you guys something in the back of the truck that I use to hook up my gooseneck with. I've seen, I've showed it in other videos before, but I think you'll get a kick out of it if you haven't seen those videos. I gotta buy a new spare tire. What you can't see it on this side. Underneath it is kind of jacked up. I talk about that in a video where we where I help Hidden Hill, Hill Oaks Homestead clean up their property. I got a flat tire on the way up there. All right, get this bad boy here. Put this bad boy over there. Put these bad boys back here in the back. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. I took a PVC pipe. And I notched it out there, and I actually set it on my ball like that, and I guide myself in. So when the gooseneck trailer hits it, it knocks it off, and that's how I got I line up my gooseneck to my truck. Genius, I know, right? <laughs> I'm sure I stole that idea from somebody. I don't make up stuff like that most of the time. You put some grease on there. Let me ask you guys a question. What's your thought process on safety chains on goosenecks? I know a lot of people think they don't use them because the, if the trailer disconnects, they actually want the trailer to lead the truck. They don't want it to be connected to the truck in any way, shape, or form. I can I can definitely see that. Take off these coolers here. Here's another fun fact about Hank Hamilton that you may or may not know. I've never tasted alcohol. Ain't that crazy? Never drank a beer, never tried liquor, never tried wine. Crazy, 26 years in the Air Force, never tried it. Crazy, huh? Put my wheel chocks on. I had a longer piece of string on it, but it dry rotted. Uh, I probably should use a higher quality string for my wheel chocks there. Over here in this snake grass. Now we'll do this guy right here. One of the sides of my landing gears are broke. I think it's this side. It doesn't, yeah, see, it doesn't go down. See, I have to do it with my, my foot, hold on. Or my hand in this case.
right, let's go put Brutus up. Then we'll work on this chainsaw here. You guys let me know in the comments if this is something you like seeing. Let me go ahead and pick up this debris right quick. Hold on. Go ahead and take it over to the burn pile right quick. The wind blew it down. Burn pile up there, I'll take it to you. If it ever quits raining, I'll come up here and burn this pile. Got Brutus Park. Now I'll start on the chainsaw. That's going to be my next task for today. Got the new brake handle in the mail the other day. So I'll go ahead and fire that up right quick. Shouldn't be too too hard to do. Looks like it's just a star bolt here. I, might have, I guess I'll take this off as well. Take this cover off. Let's see how that's attached. Maybe this slide. Let me see the new one here. So obviously there is a, a bolt that goes through it here. It might be a little more challenging than when I, what I thought here. But well, at least one side would be easy. Let's work on the other side. This might be actually a, a good time to clean this thing up. Looks like there's several screws that are holding this in. All right, let me get my star bit set. When I got this off, I'll clean it up. One of these days, I'm going to get me a, a workshop, workbench. I'm actually pricing concrete for the floors, so that's good. And you really need, probably need to be wearing safety goggles for stuff will splash back in your eyes if you ain't careful. Turn it around here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Taking off these screws that expose the side panel. What's the technical term for this? You, you guys know? Hopefully it don't fall apart on me here. So I'm working my way around here. You can see that the there's a nut. Oops. I hope that didn't break anything. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's that? I probably need to... I'll clean this up. Oh, those, that's just trash. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? Are those ball bearings or something? But it's not. It's it's dirt. So, <laughs> I'll clean up my, my chainsaw while I got it out here. It takes a different size screwdriver on the other side. So, this side's easy to come off. Try to do this one-handed while I still got the camera. That's not very smart, is it? All right, dropped it on the ground. I think there was a, yeah, there's a piece that goes in there too. That there. And now let me try to figure out this piece here. Because I got to figure out this chain break is under the spring. And this is how it works. I might have to Google that. Hold on a second. So I just Googled it. I got to remove this spring here. And then I've got to remove this E-clip here. And then this should, this assembly will lift off. Let's see if I can do it as easy as the guy did it on YouTube. I'm actually going to put some safety goggles on. So in case the spring flies back in the my face here probably could use air as well see how it just splattered in my face i'm glad i had my glasses on again i'm just gonna pry it loose here there you go just like so now getting it back on is probably gonna be fun huh and now i gotta take this e-clip off right here and hope i don't lose it this is the little e-clip here take it off like so and i will set it over here now this whole assembly should just come right off try not to break anything that's already there it goes already in there super simple enough and then this slides out like so there's the broken piece so i will set that to the side get the new handle out and reverse the process i'll clean it up a little more before i do this definitely recommend safety glasses and I'm telling you, I really wish I had a workbench, but I don't. Maybe that'd be in my future. What do you guys think? Once you connect this piece down here, you got to line up these holes here. I got to take a screwdriver and release this brake down here so that the actual plastic piece can sit down flush so that this hole goes onto that pin. So now I've got this 
pin in here. I've got this pin in here. I got this brake lever bar connected here. Now all I got to do is put the spring back on it, which hopefully ain't challenging. I don't think it's going to be too challenging. I can just get the maybe a smaller screwdriver would work. Uh, it's close. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? There you go. All right, now we just reassemble her. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't bad at all. But before I do that, I got to put that E-clip back on here. Whew, almost forgot that, fellas. So I've added that E-clip. Man, that might have that might have been a disaster, huh? Make sure it's all lined up. Good to go. All right. Screw her down. We'll be good. Now I guess is the only thing is to see if it works. All right, let's see. She works. That's good, right? All right, cool. We got the chain brake situation because that's kind of dangerous not to have that chain brake operational on your saw. It's a very important piece for that saw for sure. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you like these kind of vlog style type videos, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. You guys take care. Subscribe here with this little white circle. Watch another Hamiltonville Farm video here on this video. You guys take care. God bless you guys.